Hello everyone, my name is Shen. Welcome to my Let's Play game video. Today I'm going to introduce you the game called Rim World. It is a sci-fi construction and management simulator video game that is developed by Luinden Studio. Luinden Studio is a small indie company studio located in Montreal, Canada that only have five people right now, but the game they created is very amazing. The game originally released in November 4th, 2013 on Linux, Mac, and PC platform. The game is still on the, its early alpha, but there are a lot many interesting contents in the game already. The story of the game is quite simple. Few costs crashes on this unknown world. Now with limited resources, you have to survive and build another spaceship in order to launch back to space. The characters are the most essential objects in the game. Each character has their unique skill sets and backstories. Skill sets determine the character what jobs they can do, what jobs they cannot. The backstories determine what they want, what they like, what they don't like. In the start of the game, you will only have three characters. The game story will reward you with more colonists. Even if that's not enough, you can always capture some of the raiders who attack you and imprison them and convince them to join your cause. Game's genre is construction and management, so construction and management are quite important in the game. Construction improves your character's overall surviving condition. Therefore, there are a lot of things to construct in this game. Constructing walls and sandbags to further defense your colony. You can create more growing zones to plant more food, to increase your food supplies. So you can create more powers to power up your whole space. And you can even create some more furniture to make your colonists more happy, like lights, beds, and even uh, condi air conditions and uh, uh, entertainment rooms. Another part of the game is manage. The character is the first thing you have to manage. For you have to decide what kind of jobs they do, what kind of jobs they don't do, what they do first, what they do last. Also, what kind of clothes they're wearing, what kind of weapons they're holding, what's their attitudes when facing enemies, they run away or defend themselves by shooting. But in general, you have to manage the whole colony. Whether you have enough food, whether you have enough power to light up the base, whether you have. Uh, enough defense to defend your colony from raiders attack even if you have enough resources to build what you ever want to build other than the standard scenario you can also choose other different kind of scenarios the game offers you two standard scenarios other than the normal one one is rich explorer which that you have only one person to start with but more weapons and uh, resource another one is lost tribes that you have even more five peoples but comparably more simple weapons and resource that you have no technology advance it will take even more time for you to research until the spaceship other than that, you can also always create your own scenarios to choose what kind of things you have with you, what kind of people you have, how many you have it. You can even write your own plot and create your own world. Another thing is the Steam Workshop. Steam Workshop offers many things that beyond the game original offered experience. All the more games gamers in the world will create their own mode to offer more different things like new weapons, new medicines, new food, uh, even new enemies, new dangers that further increase the game life. Furthermore, this game as I mentioned is all 
its early alpha or yet. So there will be always more contents, more objects, more things to add in the game. So each time it's updated, players will be pulled back to play the game again and enjoy themselves furthermore. But anyway, the game is already very impressive and with their own design AI storyteller every, each time you play the game it will never be the same even you load it from certain point you will face different challenges different enemies and different things happens along with numerous modes it ensures every game cycle will be unique and unpredictable these dynamic systems push the player further make them wants to replay it again and again, try different things, different scenarios, different approaching styles, walking styles, and decide different choice. With all these objects and the challenges the game offered, the game still in early alpha and there are a lot of things you can still add, like there are only limited furniture you can build for the colonists and even less joy entertainment objects you can have. I can only have one TV and <laughs> and some tables, some chests and that's all. The players that we know that in real world we can do much more things for fun. And also the game doesn't contain with a starter teaching scenario, so if you are first time playing such game it will meet some difficulty for you you will just pretty much die a few times and try to figure out how to do things how to make certain things happen the game was made by a indie company which means fan base are very essential to the game and the company's survival for that Slender Studio not just created the game, it also created a huge fan base. You can now see all players chatting on the Twitters, on the Steam, on Rabbits about this game, sharing their experience about how to play it, what they faced, what problems they met, what strategies they have to create such a bond between players but also with games. Also, when they design the game, they consider a lot about potential customers. Players who want to play hardcore game will love the game because it does require a lot of time to actually beat the game. So they will devote tons of hours to play it, try to succeed. But even casual players can enjoy the game. Uh, you can create a scenario with a lot of results at the start. So with just a few hours, you can actually build a starship and leave the planet feeling the success and enjoyment of accomplishment and survival. Another player who wants to play with the, the strategy game players because has, the game has shown a lot of similarity with the strategy games. In a game you always have to try to expand your territories, trade with others, make enemies with others, fight your way and uh, finally accomplish a goal, similar as what does in strategy games. And the graphic of the game make it is also a great fun for players who want to play prison architectures or Minecraft. They will love these kind of graphics and sty playing styles, so they will devote many times into the game. World has a pay to play business mode. With the Steam Greenlight project, now it can be buy on Steam with $32.99. Right For such a fun game, it is really not very expensive. Based on their dialogue, they already raised $20,000. And also, now more and more Twitters, YouTubers, and other live stream players is playing the game to further increase the popularity of the game. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. Now have a good day. Bye.